Welcome and welcome back. I'm Martin and look at that shirt. This is one angry Bavarian deer. Yeah. And now look at that interface. This is one angry metal deer. And this is how it sounds. What you just heard was Final Resistance, the demo track that I wrote with Riffage Metal, the latest guitar library from Impact Soundworks and I do love that library. I really had lots of fun trying it out, playing with it, writing music with it and even making this video. I think you could tell. And why do I love it so much? I mean, I'm not a guitar player and some time back I bought Hydra, which is from the Shredditch series from Impact Soundworks, a hell of a guitar library. But not being a guitar player, I never ever really learned how to use it. And then comes Riffage Metal, which is a phrase library, and I have fun out of the box. And I think there will be quite many of you that would love to have some heavy guitar shredding in the orchestral or epic or whatever tracks, but don't know how to program them. So use a phrase library like this one. I will show you now what Riffage Metal is and how it works. So you do have here on the lower keys the phrase assign where you assign those phrases and there are 300. In this library there are 300 playable phrases and on the right side you do have the playable range. They did a wonderful job sampling those riffs in four different keys so you can play it in any key and the most stretching that will happen is two semitones. This is really genius, this is really well done and they have all their phrases in three different speeds in 80 BPM, 120 BPM, 160 BPM. So even there you can stretch them obviously as you like because it's synced to your door's tempo but you can always choose one which is nearest to your tempo so the stretching is not so extreme and let's just check it out. So you do have, as I said before, the phrases on those keys and there you play them. The assignment is as easy as it can get. You choose a key which is not assigned yet, let's say in this case the A, and there is the browser where you can browse through the 300 riffs, which obviously in this video I won't show you all of them. But you do have even cool filters. You can go for the sustains or only for the muted ones or for the power chords or for the tempo or whatever. Obviously, if you have no filter at all, then you have all of them. By clicking, you get right away the preview. Just to play. 
play a few. If you find one that you really like, double click. And as easy as that now on the G, there's the one that there was. And on the A is the one that I've been choosing. We do have on the main page even the volume, the formant, which changes the sound. Without changing the pitch. You do have the fine tuning if it should be slightly out of pitch or maybe if you play with real instruments you need a little bit of adjustment and then you do have the tone and the gain. They are routed by default to expression and dynamics. So you can play with the tone and the gain. We can see in the piano roll I have done it here and it sounds like this. Really cool to do so. And that's the main page. There is then even the console page and even this one is really cool because you do have a DI signal. And if I switch off all the effects, Yeah, and then you really just put on every effect that you would like to choose from that long list and then every effect you put on there, you do have all the parameters then to adjust the sound and there is even the amped signal. There's the mix, there's the master. Let's talk a little bit about that demo track. You can see I have um, four tracks of Riffage Metal. Why this? Because I do have at the beginning this track with a little bit of delay and a little bit of reverb and on the second track I have a really dry sound. And if we look at the piano roll, you know, here are the notes that I'm playing there are the key switches which go through the various phrases. Okay, then later on I did something really cool, which a lot of you will know. Um, I do have a riff. Panned to the right, I do have another riff panned to the left. And then if we play them both, we get this sound. <laughs> That's so much fun. That's so much fun for someone like me that is really a metalhead. Really, I do love rock and metal music and I was dreaming about writing like this for a very long time and now finally I can do it just by putting in those phrases. That's really, really cool. What else do we have in that demo track? I added from Hydra, as I said, a gent sound. Um, we can listen to this. That's all that I can do, but if you layer it with the metal phrases, it gives it a little more body. Then from Hydra, I've chosen a bass sound, just to have even a bass in that track. I have Oceania for the choir. Then yes, from Symphonic Destruction I do have Brahms. And then from the loop 
designer of Symphonic Destruction, I added some pads. Which, together with those riffage metal phrases, For the drums, I've been altering between two different drum kits. So I do have from Heaviosity the damaged drum kit playing some really cool loops. And I do have the Iguana. Iguana Karma Edition from Deadline Entertainment, German company. Really cool, even this one. I like it because of the interface, which is interactive. So you, you have, you know, a little bit the idea of playing those drums. And yes, I programmed a little bit to get this heavy metal feeling, which for the riffage metal, ah, that's so cool together, together. You know, if you have a cool drum kit and then something like those metal phrases. And I think we are through. I really hope I could show you how cool that library is for, I repeat, a non-guitar player like me. I mean, yes, it's a little limited, if you will. There are only those phrases, so you can't play a melody or something like this. But you have for sure other libraries that you can use to accompany this, because I think there is no other library where you can really lay out that quick and heavy metal bass. So you have the bass done with those phrases and there are 300 to choose from. 300, so you won't get bored easily. Really cool library and I think I showed you everything that I wanted to show you. There's the main interface where you choose those phrases with the browser, where you have the playable range and you even see here the green keys show you the riffs that they really sampled and, and the blue keys are the ones that are, that are slightly stretched. You do have the console where you can choose every effect you want and then you have all these parameters to dial in and to dial out and then you just combine it with a bass, a pad, and there you go. There you go, there you have the fundament. A wonderful job by Impact Soundworks, in my opinion. Really a library well thought out for people like me. They would like to shred, but they just can't. And then obviously you do have the possibility to play with expression and modulation to get something like this. <laughs> Know your tools, know your libraries. And by the way, if you like content like this and you enjoy it as much as I do, learning about new libraries, learning about new techniques, there's even this film scoring tutorial series now about Colony, subscribe to my channel. Really means a lot to me. Please just hit that subscribe button. Thank you. And I think that's it from my side for today. I really hope I could show you how bad as this library is. If you would like to see another video of mine, then I suggest yes, just have a look at this colony film scoring because you know, normally I'm more on the orchestral side, even if I'm really a metal hat and now I can live even this side. And as always, have a wonderful time. May the good rock always be with you. See you in the next video or on the next live stream. Bye bye.